Well, we have a question here, question five. Uh, question says, the question says, the graph of f of x is a to the power of x and uh, a is greater than one is shown below. Okay, we can see that over here. And then uh, the point C is uh, given that two nine, that's the point C. Um, so I can write the question here, question five says that f of x equal to a to the power of x and the condition is given that a is greater than one. So the condition is there. Um, and then um, uh, it is also said, now we can do question 5.1, when the question says uh, calculate the value of a. All right. So in question 5.1 here, a is the unknown. That's what we're looking for. So what do we know? Um, if we need to find the value of a, we do know that uh, the points in the in the equation uh, satisfies uh, the coordinate of the points satisfy the equation of uh, the graph. Okay, so f of s can be written as y equal to um, a to the power of x. Okay, and then uh, the coordinates here are like x and y coordinates. So we can substitute the values of um, x by two and the value of y by nine. Now this will be written as uh, nine and then two there. So that makes nine equal to a to the power of two, which means, okay, prefer write to write the unknown on the, on the left. So that makes a squared equal to nine. Now, um, this will means what? If I need to find the value of a, I have to square it both sides. I square it here, I square it there also. Now, at the moment that we put the square root, always remember we introduce a positive and negative sign here. Okay? Um, so now this will be, in, okay, the power of two and the square root will be canceled out. And then we have left with uh, a equal to plus or minus three. Okay, but now we need to, be careful, pay attention here, because uh, the condition was provided. The question says that um, A is greater than one, meaning it cannot be negative three. So, uh, because here it means that uh, A has the value of uh, three or A has the value of negative three. So it cannot be this one. It can only be that. So we say, uh, a equal to three. Now, uh, we can see that uh, 5.2, the question says that um, um, uh, determine the equation of G if G of X equal to F minus one. So we're looking for the equation of G if uh, G of X equal to five negative X. If, if if f of x is f of uh, negative x. All right. Um, first of all, once we find the value of uh, a, we found that a was equal to three, right? Now we can find f of x also. Therefore, f of x will be three to the power of x. Now, can we also find f of negative, f of negative x? Right this way, uh, f of negative x then uh, would be three to the power of negative x, which is equivalent to um, um, what before I say that the equivalence. Let me write. Uh, remember, there is a property that says a to the negative m equal to one over a to the m. So uh, we can write that uh, f minus one, minus f of minus x equal to, um, okay, equal to one over three to the x. Then we can answer the equation. I uh, can move it a little bit up. Therefore, um, g of negative x equal to, uh, move it like that, equal to, uh, one over three to the power of x. All right, okay. Now let's move on. Uh, 
I'm going to land here. Um, we have a question here. Uh, question. Okay, that was question. We did question 5.1, 5.2. Now we're doing 5.3. The question says determine the value or values of x for which uh, f minus 1 is greater or equal to 2. All right, I'm going to write it here. Mm. Um, I'm going to write it here. That's 5.3 now. Um, we're looking for um, the we're looking for the value or values of x. Okay, that's what we're looking for. For which f of f of x, but not f of x, but f minus one of x is greater or equal to two. That's what the question says. Now remember, uh, the symbol uh, f minus one is not. You don't read it f to the power of negative one because there is not uh, f to the power of negative one. This is the inverse of the function, okay? And then because uh, our f of x is an um, f of x here is an exponential function, the inverse of the exponential function is log. So the same function here can be written as um, um, it can be written as like this. Uh, okay, f of x, which is given by three to the power of x exponential function, the inverse f minus one will be uh, log of x base three, okay? So the inverse of uh, exponential function is always log and the base will be there, that's the place for the base, for the logs, that's the place for the base and that's the place for the exponents. So um, now, the question says that uh, um, log of, um, let's say f minus one is greater than two. So f minus one of x is greater or equal to two, which means log of x base three is greater or equal to two. Now this means what? This means that uh, x is greater or equal to three to the power of two. How do I know that? Because uh, the logs formula is given by, by this. If I say log of uh, x, um, log of a base b equal to, uh, equal to n, this means that a equal to b to the power of n, okay? Um, so this is what we can do here. That makes x is greater or equal to nine. Now the values, we say values because greater or equal, there are many values that are more than nine, including, uh, and we say here, nine and greater than nine, so nine, 10, 11, 12, etc. So those, this is the correct answer. Now uh, we're going to do 5.4. Uh, let's move. So here, um, five point four says uh, um, is uh, the inverse of uh, f of x is the inverse of f a function? All right. Let's look at this graph carefully. We can see this graph is uh, a a one on one function, a one on one relation, and we do know that a one on one relation is. Um, is uh, the inverse of a one-on-one -on -one relation is also a function, okay? And then log, the logs will, the graph of logs may, will look like, like this. Uh, will look like this also. And then this will pass uh, the vertical line test. If I draw uh, my line test like this, you can see that uh, uh, wherever this uh, vertical line test will, will be, but uh, will, will be drawn, it will cross the graph exactly one point. The, the graph will be at exactly one point. So we say yes, uh, um, for every, because uh, for every uh, value uh, of uh, x, there is exactly one value of y. Or because uh, the graph of the inverse passes the vertical line test, you can also say that. So it's, the inverse is also a function. Thank you.